Welcome to the YTech 2 Flight Recorder How-To Video. The flight recording feature is designed to assist a technician in diagnosing hard-to-find or intermittent issues. The recordings cannot be viewed in real time. The intent of Flight Recorder is to perform recordings that are saved for viewing later. First, we will create and load a template to the Micropod. Flight recording templates can be created during a vehicle session or while not connected to a vehicle. When creating a flight recording template while connected to a vehicle, the vehicle's year and body is pre-populated and the user is locked to data that is qualified to the connected vehicle. Creating templates while connected to the vehicle is the preferred method. Select the vehicle. Select flight recording from the menu. Select create new template. Notice the vehicle's year and body is locked to the connected vehicle. Select an audience. Dealership allows all users with the same dealer code to view and modify the template. Me, only you can view or modify the template. Review and if desired, modify the recording times. Edit the template name and add notes if desired. Expand the Select Data to Record section. Select the ECU that contains the data you want to record. Select the Hide Unqualified Data Items for Connected Vehicle checkbox so you cannot inadvertently select data items that do not apply to the connected vehicle. You can use the search to find data items you're wanting to add to the recording. Select the data items you want to record. The selected items will be added to the selected data elements list. Select and add all the data items you're wanting to add to the recording. Data can be recorded from multiple ECUs. Simply select a different ECU from the ECU dropdown and select and add the items you want to record. When finished adding the data items to record, close the selected data to record section. Expand the select DTC triggers optional section. Flight recorder can perform recordings when specified DTCs set and change status from pending, active, or stored. Select the ECU for the desired DTC trigger. Select the desired trigger DTCs from the available DTCs list. Modify the active DTCs, pending DTC, stored DTC checkboxes if desired. If only active is selected, a recording will be performed when the selected DTC changes state to active. The same is true for pending and stored DTC checkboxes. In this case, I only want to record when the DTC state changes to active or pending, so I deselected stored. Close the Select DTC Triggers optional section. Expand the Template Summary section. Review the template details and select Save Template. Select Continue. The newly created template is now in the flight recording template list. The Share button is for sharing with other YTech users or support. The View button opens the template viewer. You are able to modify the template from the viewer. The Start button loads the template to the Micropod. Select the Start button. Review the flight recording template details and then select Start Recording. The flight recording template is uploaded to the Micropod device and the Micropod device is put into flight recorder mode. Select Return to Vehicle sec Selection. The Micropod device displays in vehicle selection in flight recorder mode. To perform a recording, you can select Trigger Recording. Notice the exit and trigger buttons disappear and the screen states Actively Recording. The specified recording data is recorded, then saved for the specified duration that was selected when creating the template. When the recording completes, the exit and trigger buttons reappear. Next, we will connect the trigger to the Micropod device and learn the Micropod behavior in flight recorder mode. Notice the Micropod LED is solid red, indicating it is in flight recorder mode. Mount the trigger in an easy to reach location. Route the trigger wire to the Micropod device in a safe manner. In this video, the wire is hidden under the inside door seal in the A-pillar. Connect the trigger's RJ11 connector to the Micropod trigger adapter. Connect the Micropod trigger adapter to the Micropod USB port. Ensure the wires are routed safely and are not hanging in the footwell. well. 
Notice the green LED is illuminated on the trigger. When the green LED is illuminated solid, this indicates the MicroPod device is ready to record. The MicroPod device is in flight recorder mode and is ready to go with the customer. To perform a recording, press the button on the trigger. This button performs the same action as the trigger recording button in vehicle selection. The green LED on the trigger will flash indicating a recording is being performed. When the recording duration is complete, the amber LED will illuminate momentarily while the recording is being saved to memory. Once the recording is saved, the green LED will illuminate solid to indicate the micropod is again ready to record. When a selected trigger DTC is set or changes state, the micropod device will automatically perform a recording. The trigger LED will function just like the trigger button was pressed. Notice, while in flight recorder mode, the micropod device does not need to maintain a Wi-Fi network connection. The recordings will be saved on the MicroPod device and will automatically load to the Ytech cloud when the MicroPod device returns to the dealership and reconnects to a Wi-Fi network. Notice too, while in flight recorder mode, the MicroPod is designed to go into sleep mode to prevent drain on the vehicle's battery. When in sleep mode, all LEDs on the MicroPod device and trigger will be off. The MicroPod device will go into sleep mode in the following situations. The ignition has been off for two minutes. The MicroPod device has been powered on in flight recorder mode for more than 10 hours. The MicroPod device has not received a CAN message from the bus for more than 5 minutes. Or the CAN bus goes to sleep. The MicroPod device will wake up from sleep mode in the following situations. The CAN bus wakes up or the trigger button is pressed. When the customer returns to the dealership, flight recorder mode can be exited in two ways. One way is by pressing the trigger continuously for 10 seconds. Notice the trigger LED turned amber. Notice the MicroPod LED is now flashing red and green, showing that the MicroPod device is connected to Wi-Fi and is connected to the Ytech cloud. I put the MicroPod back into flight recording mode to demonstrate how to exit flight recorder mode by selecting Exit Recording Mode in the Vehicle Selection screen. Next, we will view the Perform Flight Recordings. Select the vehicle. Open the menu and select Flight Recording Viewer. Notice the Uploading Flight Recordings from Pod and the number of recordings yet to be uploaded in parentheses. Notice the table displays the recording name, trigger time, and trigger source. The trigger sources are Manual for flight recordings triggered in vehicle selection are the hardwired trigger, the ECU and DTC for flight recordings that were triggered by a DTC and live for triggers that were performed in ECU data display or graph view. Find the perform recording and select the view button for the desired recording. Review the recording. Notice the title of each graph line displays the data item graphed and the value at the selected time. The start time of each graph is the recording time before the trigger you selected when creating the template. If you select to record 60 seconds before the trigger and 30 seconds after the trigger, the graph x-axis will show negative 60 seconds to 0 seconds, which is the trigger event, and then count up to 30 seconds. Drag and drop the read head to quickly move through the recording. Notice the value in each graph title updates as the read head is moved. To zoom into a time on the x-axis, drag and drop the x-axis time adjustment bars in the bottom of the graph. Use the nudge buttons to move the read head forward or backward to the subsequent or preceding recorded ECU response. Select Zoom to Trigger to zoom into the trigger point, 0 seconds, and update the graph titles to display the data value at the time of the trigger. Combined graph view can be altered using the same methods as split graph view. Notice the Combine Graph View button turns into a Split Graph View button. The Back button goes back to the Flight Recording List. The Settings Gear button opens General Graph Settings. From the General Settings, the user can add vertical y-axis to the graph, adjust the series height or the space the y-axis takes up on the page, adjust the line thickness or make the line thinner or wider, Change the timeline to display either elapsed time or the recorded time of the recording. Change the x-axis display time. 
Change the graph type from digital to analog. Note, digital is default as the graph is displaying digital information. Ytech sends a request to an ECU for data and the ECU responds with a value for that data. The graph plots these responses as it receives them from the ECU. The responses are typically at a very high resolution unless the vehicle's bus is congested. Analog view does not change how data recorder receives the data, but smooths the lines to resemble an analog graph as it would be, would be seen if the user had a scope hardwired to the sensor. Settings also allows the user to change the graph height from auto-generated to a user-specified height. This applies to combined view only. Split view graph height adjustments will be covered shortly. If the user manually sets the graph height, it is recommended that the user is viewing items with similar values. Example, only viewing sensors that range from 0 to 5 volts. Adjusting what graphed items are displayed will be covered shortly. Change the dock position to show the name and value to the left, right, or center. Center locates the name and value dock adjacent to the read head. With the dock position set to center, the overlay contrast can be modified to adjust the name and value docks, transparency, and visibility. The data list button opens a menu that allows the user to reorganize data items. Set indicator lines, set min, max, and R total y-axis height for each series, separately, and hide or view specific series. Indicator lines allow the user to easily see if the graphed item crosses the threshold set by the indicator. The settings gear allows the user to set a total height of the y-axis or set minimum and or maximum values for the y-axis of a specific series. Notice the indicator line and the manually set min and max of the y-axis. The user can also hide all or show all recorded data items. The Indicators tab allows the user to set an indicator that will be visible in Combined Graph View. The Information button displays detailed information about the recording. Select the Close button to close the information details. Select the Back button to return to the flight recording list. The Details button opens a drop-down of additional recording information. The Edit button allows you to edit the name of the recording. The Select button selects the checkbox for the recording, allowing the user to share, export, or delete multiple recordings at one time. The Clear Selection button clears all selected checkboxes. The Share button allows you to share the selected recording with other users. The Import button allows you to import recordings that have previously been exported. The Export button allows you to export recordings to yourself or other users. If you're wanting to save a recording for longer than one year, export the recording to yourself so when Ytech flushes the recordings older than one year, you're able to import your recording, allowing you to still view it. The Delete Recording button allows you to delete the selected recordings. The Hide Recordings Older Than One Week checkbox hides all recordings performed more than seven days ago. To share the recording, first select the checkbox of a recording or recordings, then select Share. The Share Flight Recording window displays. To send the recordings to specific users, Enter their T or S ID and email addresses. The YTEC2 system uses the recipient user ID to associate the recording to the user you're sharing with, so ensure the recipient's user ID field is correct or the recipient will not be able to view the shared recording. The YTEC2 system uses the recipient email for notification purposes only. Don't forget to select the Add button. Type a message. Review the information then select Share Recording. Tech Tip Do not delete the flight recording after sharing. If you delete the flight recording from your list, it will also be deleted from the list of the user you shared it with. The user you shared with will receive an email, and the shared recording will be in their flight recording list when they log into YTech2. Select Close. That concludes the overview of YTech2 flight recording. Thanks for watching. For additional information and support, consult service information, the YTech2 Knowledge Base, or contact YTech2 Support.
Please select the YTech2 graphic to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the latest YTech2 news and how-tos.